Hi everyone, I'm Alizia from Renegade Badness, and today we will see how to use our light compensation plugin in your project. First of all, be sure that the plugin is checked in your list. Our light compensation plugin works as a hit confirmation with server rewind. This means that the client sends that he hit something to the server and the server check in the past if it was true. So here a little demonstration. So we can see here with zero lag, so no problem. But we can up to 6,000 and it's gone. And here you see it continue to confirm the hit even with a lot of lag. To set up our plugin, it's very easy. All you need to do is add our light compensation component in all actor you want to use it. In the plugin, you will find two, uh, two actors which represent a target and hunters. So both of them should, should have the lag composition component or a child of a lag composition component. Blueprint of C++, it doesn't have any importance. The first thing you need to do after this is to go in your project setting, go in collision, and be sure to add a specific uh, trace channel for it check. Return on the actor, on the lag, on the lag composition component, and be sure to select your hit check channel in the component. Do the same as well for the target. The target and the hunter can be the same. There is few options here that you can change. The time sync update rate is the time between each update between client and server to update their estimate time. This is needed because we want to check if it was done at a certain time and the server will need to know which time. So the client estimates the server time by itself in the component every uh, this value second. By default, it's five seconds, which is really uh, enough. The max time saved is the maximum time uh, saved by the frame history. The frame history is a list of previous position of shape, which is saved to, to be able to check if the hit was correct. So with this configuration, you will be able to check if a hit was done in the past three second maximum in the past. You can go higher and you can go uh, lower. Be careful with each value, it will take more and more uh, space and will be more and more long to do the check. When you have configured the component, the next thing you have to do is simply uh, go on your target and add whatever a shape box, capsule or sphere hit box, and be sure to select uh, the overlap on your hit check channel. The next step will be to set up it confirmation object. It confirmation object are little uh, U object. We come with two events in it. On it confirmed and on it received. On it confirmed will be triggered when someone hit another. The iter will be uh, triggered on it, on it uh, confirmed. The target which receives the it will be triggered on, on it received. Once you have added as many uh, it confirmation objects you want, you will be able on your actor to bind the, the different events and do whatever you want. Be sure to be server side. For the demonstration, we just take the actor uh, it by the trace and we display his name. Same theme is done on the target where we bind the receive event and on this one we display the name 
of the from actor, which is the actor which caused the hit. Once you have uh, once you have added the hit uh, confirmation object and bind the event, you will be able to do hit confirmation trace. You have several functions in Blueprint in the demo, which show all possible trace, all kind of different trace. You can do line trace, of course, but you can do shape trace as well. In multiple or single result, we will take the line it check as a demonstration. So the function is very simple. You have just a simple multi line trace here. We take only the first uh, result because this one is single target. If the result is not empty, we use this custom node. This custom node is a new feature of the 0.4 version. This allows you to vote to have to call uh, 10 kind of uh, function for the same thing. To add it, right click, tip, try it, confirm, and here we go. Here we select automatically your component as target. Select what kind of trace you want, for example, a box, and then we change the different pin you need to put in, in function of the trace type. You can select by name the hit confirmation object, uh, which we, where the event will be triggered by this confirmation. For example, we can take victory. Be sure to bind all pin, or it won't compile. A little warning now for the people using or plugging for version 4.27 and 5.0. Uh, in this two version, due to technical uh, engine uh, limitation, you will always have a little freeze when you select the first time the hit confirmation name. This is due to the, how the engine at this moment was doing the asset load and we can do nothing against this, but it's only on load the first time after it works perfectly. Speaking of the 4.27 version, the marketplace don't allow us to, mean to update more than the free last engine version of the plugin. But we know that some users use it for project in 4.27. So to allow you to continue to use it and to update it, if you send us on our email or on Discord, your proof of purchase of the plugin with the email of your account visible, we will be able to send you a link to a Google Drive with all versions of the 4.27. Note that this is only for the 4.27 version. For 5 plus version, we will only maintain the free last version. This is all. If you have any question or if you need help to set up your program, your program in your project, don't hesitate to send us an email or join us on our Discord. Link in the description. Bye.